All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Donald Fergulia. I'm an operations section chief here with California Interagency Incident Management Team 5. Been running the night operation uh, on the Mosquito Fire for the last 12 night shifts. So today, the Mosquito Fire is currently 74,748 acres. It's 34% contained. We currently have 3,729 people assigned to the fire. So we're going to start down here in Forest Hill where we start every morning and I give you an update. Uh, continues to look good in there. Mopped up last night until, uh, uh, well, we mopped up all night, but it did uh, a little bit of precip did come out of the sky last night. Some light showers uh, all across the fire area. So uh, that was a good stroke and we're really happy to see that rain. So. Even though you see a bunch of black uh, line here around the communities, there's still work that has to be done, uh, and we're trying to accomplish that work just as fast as we can. So that's that infrastructure checks, and that's making sure that everything's uh, squared away so that people can safely return to their homes. We're not quite there yet, but we promise we're working diligently 24-7 uh, to get that done, and, and just as soon as we can, we'll get everybody back home. Up into Michigan Bluff and uh, basically all along the Forest Tilt Divide Road to the north end to the Deadwood Road. Uh, we're in patrol status up there, meaning that uh, the mop-up has been, uh, for the most part, completed. And we are uh, basically uh, patrolling the roads, patrolling all the interiors, looking for uh, additional heats to uh, extinguish. And that's, uh, that's what has been occurring and will occur for some days to come, even though you see rain in the sky. There will still be firefighters out here every day, uh, making sure that everything stays put mopping up continuously uh, down around into where we're trying to come across the middle fork of the American River we did fire there last night until we got rain at about four o'clock this morning uh, and we're down to within a quarter mile of the American River down there on the bottom so that's that's really good that's probably one of the more technical pieces on this fire is to, to contain the fire in the middle fork of the American River now, for those of you that know it it's steep it's nasty and uh, now that it's uh, we're getting some precip it's even more dangerous down there so uh, more to come on this this will be a focus in the coming days with the moderation and the fire behavior we have to button this up uh, in the middle fork there uh, down uh, along uh, into stumpy meadows I was quiet last night and will be quiet again today um, not much going on there that fire is burned into the king fire burn scar so it's a little bit of a different of a, a fuel transition a uh, different fuel type, a lot of brush, uh, and a lot of snags, and the brush is fairly fairly young, so it's not necessarily willing to carry fire rapidly down there. Now with the moisture, we should be looking good. Uh, down along uh, the south end of the fire, all the lines continue to hold. Uh, and one point of clarification, when, when I say fire lines, we have lines and we talk about lines all across here. But basically what a fire line is, is, is a, a place that the, the vegetation has been removed down to mineral soil, be it with a hand crew, uh, uh, people with tools and chainsaws, or be it uh, with a bulldozer, uh, whatever that uh, piece of equipment might be that makes that fire line. So when we say we have lines, that means that there's line on the fire's edge. So there's black, and then there's fire line, and then there's green. So hopefully that clears things up for everybody. Uh, we do have uh, lines uh, around a lot of this fire, and so you're going to see containment continue to grow in the coming days, especially with the cool weather. So with that, that's the end of my report.